big piece to Eve Rack and Watts' puzzle here tonight. Setter Hogue will look for Taylor Head, dug out for the moment from Torres. Head coach Jason Watson said a place they hadn't played a lot, so it was out of their comfort zone, but this is going to be another level. Big arena, too. Love it. Taylor Head on the outside. Free ball now for Arkansas. Back to head, off hands, that does the trick. Taylor Raven Chase, graduate transfer from Eastern Michigan. Arkansas fires right back, Sanaya Pettis. Margin of error. Jill Killen, all kinds of power. She picks up her first kill. Her fifth year, just as dynamic as she's been her entire career with Arkansas. Interestingly, Jill Gillen, I mean, she really doesn't have the body. Back-to-back -back kills for Gillen. Razorbacks by a pair. On the middle, love it. Hogan transition. Torres there for Tennessee. There's more. Just able to dump it over. Set. Fingal rejected by two minutes. It has been the Jill Gillen stretch. There's Gillen again. Soft. Fantastic coaching. From the six year vet now here on Rocky Top. Love it. Same exact situation. Didn't have to fully lay out for that one. Taylor Hand left side. Yep. Raven Chase stepping up in the middle. Of different hitters and options to choose from. Setters in their first season really com commanding offensive flow. Both sitting at the top of the standings. Big chance to either gain some ground. Tennessee's perspective, get back to the top. This is a nice rally between the two teams. Joust at the net. Moore dug out Courtney Jackson. Back row attack. The lost Sunday to Kentucky, still a bright spot. Keeps this point alive. Chance for Arkansas in transition. Cartwright, yep, taking set one. Maggie Cartwright hitting it across. It definitely depends on this first serve and this first point. If you're outside. Maggie Cartwright hitting. Dylan. Bingo keeps it alive. Check out the effort from Kerr. But a chance for Arkansas in transition. Gillen. Middle bunch in set two. Great dig from the Lady Balls. Bingo cross court from the right side. Hogue. Here's Hogue again for Gillen. Offhand, Tennessee won't be able to grab. Six kills now for Jill Gillen. That leads all players in the match. Good dig from Courtney Jackson. She's had a really good night defensively. Sets up the kill. It's at 3.09, but both hovering around that 2.15 mark right now. Defense has certainly showed up tonight. Barry, her two best offensive SEC performances in her last two. Overcome. Love it, blocked at the net. Another try for Love it. Cartwright and Pettis. Head. Arkansas cruising now and set. Tennessee is going to have to figure out how to come back from this depth. It's been a great response from Arkansas. They have not laid down here in set two on the road. Pettis, yes. Another chance here, Fingal. That's blocked from Arkansas. Everything working for the race. Set her in a lot of different situations. She's a great slide hitter. She helps keep the net long and the offense spread. Themselves. 
as that second middle on this Tennessee group, or even Chase making a strong case for it. That time, though, can't get the block past the net. Committing to utilizing Raven Chase in set three. What a recovery and finish from Taylor Head, the Razorback. Maggie Cartwright, that led to the Taylor Head kill. In the middle, Pettis. Serve from Cartwright, that's a signature. Two. That's a two-point swing. It is, that's huge. Tennessee capitalize after the extended break. Gillen off the feed. Did with Jill. Chase just six total kills and one block all season long. Love it, sit. Cartwright off hands. Eve Rackham Watt just says she's all business 24 7. You can see it. She'll be from Raven Chase. Two kills against Kentucky, but this has been a breakout performance. So many facets. Arkansas. As successful as they have been tonight, she has had a phenomenal game. 33 assists for Kerr. Hunting 34 there. Taylor Head from the back row. Middle, Cranberry had to adjust. Gillen having to do the same. It's so crafty, just tools it around the block. Methods here between these two teams where we've seen the power, we've seen the strength and the hard hit. Adds another. Arkansas is putting their foot. Many balls need a side out. Fingal is blocked down. Serve almost hits back over the net. Ar On Sunday, the key obviously was to get back in the win column. How can they respond with their backs against the wall here? Cartwright off hands. Almost. Good pick from Fingal. More jumping. Hogue off the slide. Pettis. Great dig from Caroline Kerr. She's been everywhere tonight. Set back over the net from Arkansas. Somehow the Razorbacks recover. Kerr to the middle. Not quite in the best spot for Granberry. Head. Good swing. Good dig. Fingal. Razorbacks everywhere. That is the definition of grit. Both of these teams giving 100% of what they have. And Taylor Head, look at the emotion. Gillen. All defended from Tennessee, but Bingle. A balanced attack as well for Tennessee tonight. Nifty. Cartwright drops it over. Torres diving for it, love it, blocked back. Just the aggressiveness right here between Love It and the Arkansas blockers. See Cartwright. For Tennessee, the way they've been used to in what has been a dominant start to the season, have to try to find other ways to generate offense. Hogue for Taylor Head, has great dig. Moore sends it over. Oh, back set. The slide. Big goal. Doug back over the net from Cartwright. Tennessee, though, miscalculated. The Pettis has had an outstanding game for the Razorbacks. Lays out for it. Oh, at the net. Gillen off hand. Sets for Chase. There's Jackson. Sets up Cartwright, dug wide. Dug out from King. Back set from Jackson, Gillen off hands. Torres laying out for one. Love it, Jackson picks it. Gillen again. Love it. Back 
and forth we go. Gillen, yes. I believe in this match is with the back and forth, back and forth, majority of the time, Arkansas telling. What's the response out of the break for Tennessee and Arkansas? Head down the line. It's been that. There's Cartwright. Has to be now. Down to the brink and set forward. Taylor head. She head. Missed touch. 